Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking on Captain Clyde's MTG. We're down to our very last box of Obi-Wan Draft Boosters. And the last box was definitely fire. Um, it was really amazing. Uh, and it's really going back to kind of what I mentioned before, where it seems like not only um, do they do pack tracking um, when they, hey, there we go, start off with a green mythic. Uh, they also do it on the boxes too, uh, because some boxes are good, some boxes are bad. It's, it's almost like the print tracking is more based around boxes than anything. So it's really interesting. Which you'll see that once we go over the uh, um, the value of this set of draft boxes. Oh hey, foil dark slick or dark slick. Ah, black bleak cliffs. Black cleave cliffs. That thing. There. It's a foil. It's a rare. Ugh. Man, oh man. What are we gonna do? Again, it reminds me, I remember when those things were god awful expensive. And now they're two or three dollars. Boy. I mean, I'm all about reprints making things cheaper, but that's a little painful. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. I will say, as I look at, you know, having the right amount of cards and what have you, um, one thing I've noticed is with all the variants, and we've talked about this before, where, you know, Magic has all these different variants and so forth and so on, um... It makes it very hard to collect this product. Uh, not, not. Let me let me rephrase that. It makes it very hard to collect this product to have like play sets or what have you. It's very easy to collect in general, but if you want to collect certain cards, for example, not even just the regular cards, but like let alone the alternate art cards, like you get so many of each. That you don't get a place at a four that match. And uh, Red Dominus. That's kind of a big deal, you know, for some players. Well, for all players, really. Is having a matching set of play cards. But, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. They're going to do what they want. Which is just going to make it harder and harder to get the play sets of this stuff. So it looks like I'm going to have to start just taking what I get, make my play sets out of them. Because to be honest with you, some of the cards are really expensive and there's no point in me buying and spending all this extra money on these play sets that I might not even use, to be honest with you. Don't play as much as I used to, and even if I did play, it's not like I can't just play the cards that I got, so yeah. About that. Another full art T Rex. We've had a Rex in almost every box, it seems like. Of some way, shape, or form. Um, we've got two regular ones and two of those, so. Again, like I was saying, uh, very hard. Ooh, foil rare. Green Sun Twilight. Very hard to uh, get a play set of four and they all match when. A lot of times what you're getting is play sets like two of these and two of the other ones. And I mean, it may be to try to make us trade and, and whatnot, but I don't know. A little aggravating to a point. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, does it bother you guys that it's really hard to get a play set of... Let's say one mythic because there's so many different variations of it. It's virtually impossible, per se. 
That's my personal opinion. It's just it's very aggravating. But I mean, that's just part of it right now. I mean, what would it be like if Wizards actually cut back all these extra printings and art cards and go back to more of a one art card and then one special printing of the card, like full art instead of alternate art? It'd be very interesting to see what that would be like again. You know, because currently people complain about all the different kinds of art cards that there are. It makes you wonder if we went back to the old way, if people would complain because there wasn't enough of the alternate art cards. You know, because people like to do that kind of stuff, you know, complain about what they got um, because they want it different. And then when they get it different, complain about how it's now different kind of thing. It'd be interesting to see how that all plays out. I mean, that's just me, though. You guys take that with a grain of salt. Hey, a regular T-Rex. I wonder if I can get another Elish Norn. The only Elish Norns I've got in this box, or in this case, have been, have been Phyrexian text Elish Norns, which are really cool. Don't get me wrong. But I need one normal one. Trash can over here is so overflowing with packs. All right, last third of the box. We already have four mythics. The record is seven. Uh, it's pretty high, not gonna lie. Ooh, there's number five. Uh, Luke is not the best mythic in the world. It's more like a dollar. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Can't believe we mythic's that cheap. Ooh, there's a foil mythic. Unfortunately, it's a staff of completion. Man, did you imagine if that was an, a Norn? Ugh. Ooh, and a Rot Priest. That is a hell of a pack right there. What is that, $20, $30 pack? That's woof. I have the monster. So that is six mythics. One more to get to the record. Two to break it. Well, one to tie, two to break. It's a good rare. So again, this is another good box. Um, which kind of goes back to that whole story about how the track printing almost looks like it's to the point where instead of track printing the box, which, which they, they kind of do, it also extends to the case of six boxes. Which is interesting in its own right. Yeah, I'm just gonna start throwing them on the floor. I got no room. Fix it later. If you're asking what I'm referring to, is the giant amount of packs I have to my right over here. Was taking the time to place them into the trash, but it's at the point now where they're not even staying in the trash when I put them in there, so I'll fix that when the video's over. Alright, come on, baby. Alright, regular foil at the Kaya the Intangible. Alright, so. Don't forget, guys, try and get to a 1,000 peeps, so subscribe up. Now's a good time. It helps support the channel and is the easiest and cheapest thing you can do for yourself to help show your support. Ha! Damn it. Um, if you already subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, now's a good time. If you want to do more, feel free to check out links in the description to the eBay store, Patreon, my personal email, all kinds of good stuff you can do to help me out. Oh, look at that. Mythic number seven, Blue Dominus. That's sweet. So we've tied the Mythic count with one pack left. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, uncommons, uncommons. Get those out of there. Can we get to eight? Can we break the Mythic count? 
All this with two Ellis Norns and no white Dominus. Very weird. It's like last time, except I got white Dominuses, but I got no Elish Norns. It's like it's either one or the other. Excuse me. All right, come on. We break it. Ha! Ah! Nope. Looks like seven might be the max. Tell me down below if you guys have got more than seven Mythics on a draft box. But it looks like seven's the max. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next, next video where we go over how much this costs real quick. And is it any different than what we saw previously? So until next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player.